This clip is brought to you by the legendary Tasty Pastry. 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, and zero sugar. Better than any protein bar out there. Tastes amazing! Enjoy this clip. And this is one thing to think about. It's cool that we have so many different things we can focus on. Like, we're doing all these things to improve the way we breathe. We're doing all these things to improve our feet and our movement. Recently, I had an impact injury in jujitsu. I was doing something with somebody, and then my, my body slammed on the ground. And I heard this big crunch on my clavicle area. I heard it, right? I got up, okay, the next day, I, or later on that day, I couldn't, I was coughing, and it was hurting here in my clavicle. I noticed it was bruised. Putting my arm over my head hurt, but I was like, well, okay, this sucks. I'm not going to be able to roll for a little bit. I'm not going to be able to do certain lifts, but there's a lot of things I can still work on because there's a lot of tools that we utilize. We use kettlebells. We do body weight work. We have stuff with cables. I still have jump rope stuff. I have all these things I can do with balance and body weight that I can still progress the things that I was doing while backing off of this a little bit to allow it to heal. But when it comes to, you know, if all you do is just straight barbell work or you're only doing certain types of lifts, when this is gone, your workouts are gone. Your, the, the training is gone. You don't have anything you can progress anymore. So that's why it's good to implement some different things into your training so that when something does happen, you have something you can continue to work on as it heals. You're not just out of the gym because that's what happens to a lot of people. They get injured, then you see them a few years later, and like, what happened, dude? Mm. It's like, I got this injury and I just stopped training. Yeah, work smarter, not harder, but also harder and smarter. <laughs> you have a you have a you have a lot of tools. Like at right. this point now, we have so many tools that we can use uh, and, and do in the gym. That's continuing to help us to get into better shape and increase <clears throat> different capacities for movement and strength. Right? We're not just stuck with certain movements. That's why there's. That's why we're always progressing. There's certain things that you can do as well that you're not going to immediately even notice whether you're good or bad at it, really. Mm. Like like something like a med ball toss. Like, what's your previous marker for throwing a med ball as high up in the air as you possibly can? You, you probably don't remember the last time you just tried to chuck one up in the air as, as high as you can. Mm -hmm. Or to throw it backwards over your head as powerfully as you can. Uh, to slam it into the ground. There's <clears throat> There's less degrees of, like, measure. Like, when you do a squat... If you're a 200 pound guy and you can't squat like double your body weight, then that's not very strong, right? Like we kind of, we have these uh, markers. When you push or pull the sled and you do it forward and backward, you don't really know. Like, I guess I could see that maybe a person has <clears throat> the sled loaded up with lots of plates, but even something like the tank, there's no like, okay, maybe it's on like level three and it's on a hard level. But my point here is that as Andrew has pointed out before, with the weights not having any numbers on them, it's kind of hard to tell, like, do you care a ton about your cable crossover strength? Or do people really care a lot about their, like, lat pull-down strength? It's nice to see the weight go up, and it's nice to see, you know, oh, I handled, I handled the stack, you know, occasionally on some <laughs> stuff where you can do the stack. Um, but a cable crossover is, like, a great example, or even, like, a chest fly, like, you're really taking a lot of pride in trying to grab those 70s for chest flies and it just hurts and it's like ripping your shoulders apart? Or would you rather actually do the exercise with good form, get a good stretch, and maybe have the 25s or the 30s or whatever your body can handle? Yeah, because everybody clowns <clears throat> on like the quarter squat, right? Like, oh, I got a PR, but then, you know, people will see like you didn't go to depth and all that shit or whatever. But then with, yeah, like you're right, like with the chest fly, yeah, you're just going to end up pressing it, you know, if it's too much or you're just going to fuck your shoulder up, which I've done too many times. Yeah. <laughs> Power Project family, we appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys. and We're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Okay? Peace.